Hi, I'm Real Genetic Demon, and the loading that's going on at the moment is R-Type Reloaded on the Amstrad CPC. Now, this is a 128K game. Um, it's basically a remake of the original. Um, it's it's well worth playing. It's well worth watching. Um, it's 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 just a, a phenomenal. Um, not quite tech demo, but a, a demo of what um, the, the the CPC was actually capable of when it was programmed specifically for it. Not a not a not a bad um, sort of ah, specky um, copy over, and 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 that's no that's no um, you know that's not to say specky's bad because I love the Spectrum, but uh, the the Amstrad CPC definitely the 128k version just from this intro alone shows you what this little machine was capable of. And we're going to wait for it to go through its title sequence because it's just so great, you know, it's so good. Here we go as our pilot. Now, I'm not very good at our type, but we'll give it a go. We'll see whether or not I get better with a bit of practice, but we'll see. It's one of the games I was really looking forward to on the on the CPC. I kind of I kind of wanted I wanted a 128k just just for things like this. I also want to try the um, Ghouls and Ghosts um, uh, remake, but I believe that's for the uh, GX 4000, the, the games console that they made. So you need to have a plus for that, unfortunately. Anyway, so our type, um, beautiful logo, beautiful start. Let's go. Let's go load a little bit now. Yep, yeah, there we go. <clears throat> Just loading a little bit. First level, probably. There we go. Almost there. Here we go. Oh, we've got options as well. Right, we're gonna go. We're gonna just play the game anyway. We're just gonna start. 128k version by Easter Egg. so excited about this it's just so sad that i'm so excited about it but but to be honest with you our types are an absolute classic it's one of the best shoot em ups out there um it still is and and a lot of people play it and it's been remade and remade and remaked and, and put on things over and over again because it's so good because it's an absolute classic here we go there's a little r type ship actually more responsive than i thought it was going to be there holding the button down scrolling always seems to be a bit of an issue for the for the for the amstrad um, music's there. The do do do. But yeah, scrolling on seems to be a bit of an issue. It always seems to be jerky. But however, if you watch the, the ship itself flying around there, and I was just moving about there like that, it actually is not too bad at all. In fact, that the whole everything else flying on the screen is fine. It's just that it's just that uh, sort of movement can be a little bit sort of. Now there'll be a button to launch that thing, and I don't know what it is. Ah, horrible thing. Ah. Ah! It'll be the space bar, I bet you. Space bar will be the large little thing off the end. Now, I'm not going to do this justice because I'm not the best R type player. Um, but if I get to the first creature, the first end level boss, I would be happy with that. Oh, God, that was so close. I almost crashed into the ground as well. You can charge up your weapon by holding down the fire button. And there'll be a, there's a, like a little a little satellite that you attach to the front. That's a good word for it, actually. I don't know whether that's the official name for it, but satellite seems like a good good enough name for it. Um, but it, ah, ah, get him, get him, get him! And look, that little satellite is really useful because it floats around and it allows you to. It sort of follows you around and you can track things with it and shoot things with it. And I'm just just getting they're just getting me. Uh, is it space bar? No, not space bar. Ah! I don't know how to launch it. Come on, we'll see if we can get a bit further. Let's get see if we can get just a little bit further. There we go. Oh, it's just stunning, isn't it? I mean, it really is. It's such justice to the original game. I think. Do you know something? I think if if the if the if the if the, um, if the Amstrad and had, had, had sort of they'd sort of gone with this this quality of game in the initial sort of stages of the of the of the, of the Amstrad, you know, if that should come out, um, I think it would have blown a lot of people away. I think I think it would have put itself in a in a slightly um, improved position over the general sort of um, you know uh, games or con uh, machines of the time. I mean, it's certainly um, it, it looks good, and the thing about it, I've said this before about the the, the Amstrad palette, it's quite an, a vivid 
shaded palette. Um, there can be up to 27 colours that are available, which is quite a lot more than some others. And, and to be fair, there's no colour clash. It doesn't actually feature it. It's one of the few um, PCs or computers of the time that actually didn't have any colour clash whatsoever. Um, oh, damn. Um, but it's really quite an impressive sort of um, machine in its in its in its own right, um, and unjustly sort of seen as a as a as a as a as a product of of of, of, of money making. Because uh, to be fair, it was, but at the same time, it actually is. It's been constructed really well. The idea being that it was a machine for every man, um, and that, that 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 it should be better. Than, 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 than the competitors but of course cheap enough and whatever else it is to make lots of money for the business involved you know Amstrad um, but but it's really good it just just as I say these these are, this is this is this is why a bit like the, the spectrum homebrew community and even the Commodore one these machines are so beloved with with with, with what they do um, but I think I think this would have wowed a lot of people if this had come out like this when they did. They said, "Yeah, here we go. This is our type, and our type looked like this for the for the for the for the for the, for the Amstrad." I think that would have been absolutely stunning um, at the time. And it's and it's and it's it's it properly looks like the arcade version as well. And 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 as I say, the the, the loud the louder palette is 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 a, is a wonderful thing about it. Ah! Got to make it past some of these guys, so these bullets, because I want to make it to the next bit. Let's get trying to make it to the next bit. Not doing very good here, because I should be shooting these things. He's going to shoot through there. Now they've got these creatures that are through here that always remind me of aliens. I don't know why. There we go. Because I think it's the head. They remind me of the alien from Aliens. So I don't know how to launch the thing though. Should have checked the instructions. I'm really bad. But here comes the background, and it's starting to appear as well. We even got backgrounds coming into it. Amazing. Oh god! But at least I got past that bit, so I can move on a bit. Oh no, I can't! I should be able to continue from there, though. Totally unjust, not doing it justice. But 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 honestly, if you're if you're if you're an Amstrad user and you've got a you know a six one two eight or the plus, um, this is worth downloading. I'll put a link in the description below about how you can download it and where you can download it from, um, just so you can enjoy it yourself. Because I think I think it's one of these games that's just so well recreated. Um, Two thousand and twelve, this was recreated. There we go. Got your. There's the background appearing. And it works. It works really well. I'm still I still see myself as a bit of a beginner with the Amstrad and, and I'm still learning a lot of things and I do appreciate the people who comment on it and say you should try this because I'm I'm still learning about it. Um the, the I have it's the same with the Commodore, however I um oh go Oh, I love this bit. This is the my favourite bit. This is this. These are these. Um, there's a one that you have to shoot. Oh damn! And I moved just right into it instead of doing it. There's like one that's going round there that you have to shoot to to, to make it do, to sort of to, to sort of. Uh, um, oh, you can stop. Ah! Oh, you horrible creature! Yeah, one you have to shoot, and it sort of makes that whole ring of sort of gunfire die. And you can usually fly into it, or what people mostly do is they fire the little satellite that you attach to the ship into the monster it and sort of move it around until it touches it, because it kind of stays within a certain range of your, of your oh damn it, of your sort of ship. It's just what happens when you talk and actually do 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 recordings. Now I'm also trying to go with the right aspect ratio on this one because I've, I've often used an upscaler. So well, fingers crossed this actually works and it's and it's and it's centered it in the middle of the screen and kept its original aspect ratio um, and we'll, and, and that uh, it looks right because um, that's one of the big problems with 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 things. Everything's widescreen nowadays. It wasn't back in the day. It was four by three. Um, so I remember actually though I had. A, I thought about this when I when widescreen turned up. I actually didn't think widescreen would last because all the other things that were going on, all television and all that kind of stuff, was actually and this is this is actually quite true. I actually thought that for, that uh, widescreen was a, was a fad um, that would would not last. Um, and that's, I actually thought that that was the case. I thought that that uh, oh god, why didn't he die? 
I actually thought that we weren't going to, we weren't, we weren't, nobody was going to want um, widescreen telly because of the fact that when we were watching normal television, it was 4x3 and that uh, obviously most things were written for 4x3 rather than written for for, for sort of the, 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 the sort of televisions as, as, as a widescreen. However, it's, I, 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 I believe I'm wrong. Widescreen is the future. I'm just wondering what the options say here. Oh, we got arcade mode. What's this? Casual. Oh, we need casual. Sorry. Can I change the number of lives? Well, I can have loads of lives. How many quit? I can have infinite credits as well. Oh, right. Oh, this is really good. So you can actually add some stuff into it as well. I'm not going to have infinite credits, though. I feel bad if I actually start this again. But I, do you know what? It's such a great game. I'm going to have to go. We'll see what casual's like. Let's see whether or not I can manage that. Let's go for it. Oh, you can choose the stage you want as well. Oh, this is so they could demonstrate their things. Look, because it shows you the bosses. Oh, wow. You can even turn off the loose keepy weapons as well, so you can get the whole powered up. Immediate rebirth of where you are. Oh, look at this. Warship. I don't think I've ever seen some of these further levels. The den. The transport system. The city of decay. The star beyond the Baidu, Baidu or Baidu um, empire. And stage one. Let's let's try let's try one of the later levels then. I'm I'm trying to think of a good one here. I don't even know them. How to play? Does it actually tell me how to play? I'm just wondered. Didn't think it would load, but there we go. Oh well, so it's worth doing that. And directionals, yes, I got that. Oh wow! Press fire repeatedly to shoot enemies. Oh, brilliant! I mean, how seriously? What a level of detail's gone into this game. Hold the fire button down and concentrate. NG. Yep. Boom. I release a powerful beam. There we go. Right. Click the gem. But I don't know what my second fire button is. Oh, do you know what they'll be? Maybe there is a second fire button. I don't know. Increases your fire potent power. Yeah, okay. Look at that. Isn't it cool? Uh, second fire button releases. I don't know what second fire button is on, on the, uh, the arm strategy. Somebody tell me what it is on the keyboard, please, in the description below, because I don't know how to do a second fire button. Because I haven't got a second fire button. Look at that. It's building up this little satellite at the front. That's amazing. Yeah, rear firing. We attach it to the back. I'm just going to quit out of that. I'm going to choose a different level then. We're going to go for a different level. It's just going to go back to where we were at. That is so cool. Okay. Here we go. Right, we're going to start on the the den, do you think? Or should we go for the 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 base? I think we'll go with the den. I think that's a good one. Casual mode. That's so good. What, what a great way. Because then they can actually show off the whole thing. And see what it looks like. I wasn't expecting this video to go on so long actually. It was gonna just be I thought it was gonna just give you a quick blast through the first level. Oh look, I've got all my weapons as well already. They've given me they've given me a full on power up. Might not be the best choice of levels, but it's we've we got them. Ah! Something came out of the ground. The immediate life thing is good. Wow. And I'm guessing the level music is correct as well. It's a, it's a, it feels a little cheaty, by the way, with all the weapons maximised. Oh! Oh! Right, okay, here we go. I've got them. There's bits everywhere, though. Very flat level, actually. I managed to choose the the, the worst possible level by the looks of things. Missiles. It was not the best of choice of levels. <laughs> 
I often wonder whether or not back even the, even back in the eighties whether or not the the developers of these games got fatigued, you know, so that they, so 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 certain levels were less um, impressive than others. This would really be a challenge, I think, if you had this in arcade mode. I don't think this is this is so much of a challenge with the, with all the casual stuff turned on. It's very much a straight line so far. I wonder what the release of that thing is. That's copy. It's copy key. You need to release the thing. It's the copy key. Well, I feel a bit bad because this level's actually not that exciting. <laughs> I thought the den would be a good 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 name for a level, but never mind. Oh, what's happened? Oh, oh, it's the boss. I didn't even know I got to the boss. He goes round the level. Oh, not a boss. Oh no, it is. Oops. <laughs> On my side of the game, it went blank all of a sudden. I hope it didn't go blank for you, too. If it did, it did. That's life. That's loading. We're loading. I think it's... Uh, the, the the Amstrad jumps between different modes, uh, resolutions, quite frequently. So it can be... It can be it's quite frustrating that way. But, ah, no! Gosh! This is the transport, it's called, I think. Wow, look at this! Wow. Game over. I'm actually going to leave it there. Um, I really want you to discover this for yourself, so I, what I suggest you do is you, you'd have a look at the, uh, the, the, li the links below. Do I have to put my name in? Yes, I do. Have a look at the links below in my description, and um, you know, feel free download it yourself. Um, stick yourself an emulator on, put it on your real machine, whatever, what, whatever way suits you. Just let's let's keep playing these things because they're great. So anyway, I've been your host, the real genetic demon. Let's put it in the bottom there. Um, um, thanks for watching. Please feel free to like like and subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye bye now.